of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. I'll say you're kind of natural. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? NCPD, this is Detective Ward. What do you want? Petar Horvath. No, he worked here. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here? Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, 
Who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan, a uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Come on, elections around the corner and CPD had to up its stats. Rest was for show, they'll let him out soon. Now wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? <laughs> Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. Red Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me.
Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me, you got a hunch. Cop intuition? Something like that. <laughs> Neo 
Bill doesn't tend to lie. I'm too scared. So, the club's around here somewhere. In the garage, is my guess. Or under it. Come on! Let's see that ugly face of yours! Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Come on! I swear I won't completely kill you!